Okay, so we just uh, turned off Highway 98 in Florida Panhandle. I think this is the road out to St. George Island. Going to go out and visit the lighthouse. See what we can see out here. I think we're approaching a big long bridge. Sign says watch for birds. Now we've been uh, seeing an awful lot of butterflies. You can see the remnants of a few on our windshield here. But there's the water. out there. Some kind of fish must be congregating in that area. A lot of small fishing boats off to our right. What is now a fishing pier I suppose was originally a bridge. Looks like remnants of a causeway out over that direction. A few fishing boats on this side as well. Beautiful day to be in Florida. I think this is November the 16th. We're on our way back to Panama City Beach from Fort Myers. Had our clear bra removed in Fort Myers. Went out to Sanibel Island. Next week, uh, daughter Kelly and her husband Zach are going to join us for a few days. Panama City Beach. We'll spend Thanksgiving with them. And head back towards Arkansas for a few days. Oop, just got another butterfly. Don't know what he's doing way out here in the middle of the bridge. Another butterfly just hit the windshield. Lighthouse just off to the side here. Looks like the water tower with its antennas is a lot bigger than the lighthouse. But I'll hand the camera off to Miss Linda so I can pay attention to traffic and signs here. Okay, so here we are, St. George Island, historic lighthouse. Got the Muttley crew out for a little walk here. Got Lily here, Cooper, Sparky, and Jasper. Let's see, county ordinance. No glass containers on the beach. They do have dog walking area here, foot traffic only. The beach is just over the dunes there. Gulf of Mexico. Lighthouse right up there. And a nice little parking area. I think the actual uh, There was some more park information down this way. Don't know just what these flowering bushes are, but got kind of pretty flowers on them. Sparky Jasper. 
Welcome to St. George Lighthouse Park and Visitor Center. No skates or skateboards. Just giving the dogs a little walk here and then we'll go over here and see the lighthouse. Go in the gift shop. See what all's going on. So Miss Linda's in the RV on a phone call still right at the moment. Okay. The grounds of St. George Island Lighthouse. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm going to guess the brick house here was possibly the lighthouse keeper's home once upon a time. Row of beachfront homes here. Beach warning flags. Red close to the public, double red. Well, let's walk a little closer. I'll put this on here. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. I'm not going to try and read the whole thing, but there's a uh, Warning flags, we've got a yellow today, medium hazard, moderate surf and or currents. So, yellow flag today. Brown sand. I don't see what you're pointing at. Dogs running loose. Oh. I'm saying when we're all done, we can bring the dogs down here. Well, run around for a while. Do if you want to, time. if you want to. Miss Linda likes beaches. I do too. Lighthouse there behind us. What? Huh? Look, crab show or something. Sand flea. Really? Yep. Not the big. Okay, uh, in Walmart yesterday, in their uh, frozen bait section, they had sand fleas. That's, that's how big they are. Whew. Water feels a little chilly when you first step in. Two small shells here, washed up, nothing like down at Sanibel. You know, it feels cool at first, but it's really not bad. I think more because the air is cool today. Once you're wet, on a hot day, it'd probably feel pretty good. I'm not seeing any good shells rolling in at all. Kind of a edge here along the surf line where the little waves come in and roll a little bit. Just walking back up from the beach. Can you hear my rubber shoes? They sound like frogs. Walking on the wood planks and my wet feet inside of them. Pretty flowers here too. Don't know flowers, so I can't tell you what they are. 
Okay, just an interesting footnote. Cape St. George Light Museum and Gift Shop. But the gift shop is closed on Thursdays. Did I already mention that? Yeah. Cape St. George Light, 1833, 1848, 1852, 2008. I wonder what the dates mean particularly. So we found out the Lighthouse Gift Shop which is in the red brick building, is closed on Thursdays. So we're going to go in here and see if we can find Linda a trinket. But and today is Thursday, November 16th, so we were unable to go in there and explore. Lighthouse tickets are available at the gift shop. So that as well is closed. Lady in the visitor center said she didn't know why they closed it on Thursdays. Because uh, apparently she thinks that's one of their busier days.